Hey, get a load of this. This is pomegranate molasses. Very Persian thing here. Wonderful. Look at that gooiness. Isn't that amazing? Look how dark and rich that is. You know how I made this? Three simple ingredients. I have to give a nod to Alton Brown from his Good Eats program because that's where I got this from. All you need is pomegranate juice. I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar in a hot pan. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. Okay. And a little bit of lemon juice. So we're just gonna take a little bit of that. Work some of that magic in there. Make sure I don't get any seeds in there. Let it run through. And that is all we need. That is all you do. You let this simmer down. You'll dissolve the sugar. Um, and then when it starts to reduce, it gets thicker, darker, and sweeter. And sorry, oh, I would say, I don't know. I'd say when you're doing a cup of this, it probably takes about 15 minutes. I don't go with a very high temperature heat. I'm not making caramel, I'm making molasses. So we just go kind of uh, medium low and let time do its magic. We are in the process of making pomegranate molasses. So again, we only put three ingredients in here. We put pomegranate juice, pure pomegranate juice, sugar, and lemon. Just a touch of lemon for acidity. And this is what it does. It kind of looks like it's on the way to making a caramel. We're not gonna take it all the way there, but you do have to thicken it up. You're really reducing it, getting the water out after the sugar dissolves. Well, this has been going on for about eight minutes now. I, I would hazard a guess and say, we're making about one cup of yield. It's probably gonna go another seven minutes, about 15 minutes. Okay, so. We're just about there with our pomegranate molasses. If I stop the heat now, that bubbling will stop and it'll thicken up as it gets cooler and then we'll have this beautiful, thick, dark molasses flavor. But we're making a sauce, okay? So we're gonna take a little bit of prickly pear puree. This is what happens when you puree your prickly pear fruits down. You peel them, then you uh, puree them, and then you remove the seeds, so you strain them through. This is what's left. We're just gonna add a little bit of that in there. Don't need any extra sugar, okay? I'm going with a, like a one-to-one -one ratio. What we're gonna do is let this reduce further. It'll turn into a nice thick syrupy sauce. And this is just gonna go on the plate, juxtapose. What we have is a roasted calabasa squash. 